Greetings, 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 goddesses, gods. Focus, focus. Greetings, greetings, salute, salute. Industre kosoto amohaya la makasote soto. Um, just real quick. Uh, this is the real quick thing, uh, or a technique, as you would say, as, or I would say. God damn, my hands are dry. What the fuck? Whew. It's dry and cold. <laughs> uh, welcome to the uh, Cleveland's Shamanic Society. And I'm going to get a little more in-depth with this, but don't worry about it. If you've been watching for a while, you know or you know what's you know me. You know what I'm saying. So, but a real quick thing to you, you can do is because I just reflected the, my whole uh, thing. Because there's what there is is there's five of us. There's there's five of us for the core of this society. And right now I'm in search of these other four. And listen to the numbers. As you listen, to, don't listen to what I'm saying again. There's five core members of this society, and I'm looking for the four to join up with the one. Anyway, anyway, if you know what I'm talking about, everything's omens and signs, you're reading me anyway. So, and, and I'm just, remember, I'm nothing. I am nothing. You're just reading a message. But... <laughs> But how did I get here? You know, I'm just thinking about how I got here. Like, what made me decide? What got me to this point? And the last thing that I remember. So this is how you track your mind. This is what keywords are all about. This is what pinpointing certain timeline things in the timeline that has happened to bring bring you here. You know, because I was thinking about it. Like, actually, uh, Reiki brought me to this point. You know, because you start tracking. So, because the last thing I've done was pretty much get Reiki uh, master uh, art certified and I was like okay I went through all that so that was like two years 2016 going on three years and I still don't know what the fuck I'm doing I never knew what I was doing two years ago and I was like so I was like man so what brought me to Reiki because now you start tracking your your track record, right? How these, how symbolism led you, how everything led me to here. So, uh, so I started tracking, like, you know, where, what brought me to Reiki. So, I was like, well, what brought me to Reiki? Before that was uh, the shaman, the shaman's path, you know, which was, and this happened in the two year, a two year two year two year time span because that was in like 2014 or something but the shamanic path was was always uh, around me because it was there you know I was led to believe that the Native American was a symbolism of shamanism that's why we're here because it's reflecting our inside because back then, when I was growing up, that's all I thought the shaman was, was native of me. Because, you know, you're a kid growing up and all this. So, that's the what I believe. <laughs> Foolish, right? Fool. So, I'm like, well, what got me to shamanism? And the next thing I remember was the Illuminati. <laughs> wow. The Illuminati taught me about symbols. It's not about the words. Let's forget about words. Words are meaningless if you're in a higher dimension. You will understand that. The word Illuminati is a bad word in the third dimension. That's what they want. Keep you away from it. Keep you away from learning symbolism. Keep you away of, uh, of keep you away from, you know, not being able to think about your uh, your, your surroundings and symbol and decode everything get you fear fear of something so what got me to the illuminati was i was at the psych ward for a little while i had a little visit there with a whole little mental meltdown and all these things what happened and uh and then okay well how did i get to the mental ward you know uh did i go back meth 
but meth led me there. But what really led me there, look, I looked through the meth, okay? If you look through the meth, but what got me to the meth? Oh, let's go back. Money. When did I start looking into symbolism? Was through Freemasonry. I started reading about Freemasonry, symbolism. Symbolism. Don't, I'm, I'm not even going to say what I was reading about. It's all about symbolism. I, I tried, believe me, I've been, I, <laughs> no, you know, I, that's a whole other story, but, so, so Freemasonry didn't lead me to math, that was just my choice, because that was my path, because I was an addict, okay, I was an addict before that, before all this, with all this other nonsense, you know, drug dealing, cocaine, um, meth, you know, all these fucking things, that, anything else that goes with it, you know, violence, all that stuff, so, so I did math, but I was reading, but it, it, I did math, and I was, in that process of doing that, I, it opened me up to another perception, because that's when I started to look into symbolism, because everything around me was, you know, like, I kept going by the Freemason buildings and my uncles were Freemasons and you know, all this other sh nonsense. And I realized it was all about symbolism. That's when I started to look up, when I started to get on a line and this is what the Illuminati taught. The symbols of reality. It's not... Ugh. This shit don't exist. It really doesn't. 3D Earth does not exist. It's, It does, but it doesn't. It's... It is divided now. It's, it's left. We are in our own bubbles. So when I started to read into the Freemasonry, I started to look up uh, Freemasonry musicians. And there were certain musicians that started, like, holy shit. Like, I like this cat. You know what I mean? Like, so I read about him. All the songs were, were talking, were, were, he was, they were talking to me speaking to me this is what i realize now that that was what some would call god when you're speaking to god what god is speaking to you so through this music the great spirit was speaking to me okay you take a take this is when i started to uh I was, so i got okay so i bought all these rush cds uh the the there was a uh, who else? Ozzy Osbourne was one of the one of the ones who I'm not saying they're Freemasons, but they had something to do with it. But their symbolism is in there. I believe one of them is. Some of, some of them people are. So I don't even care. It's not even the point. The point is symbolism, perception. We all have different perceptions. It's not the same. Someone's gonna say if someone here Freemasonry, they shut the video off. Fuck that. Fuck the motherfucker. See already because they got you. Got you. They got you in the 3D world. Anger. What the fuck? But that's not what this video is about. This video is about tracking my life. How the fuck I got here. What, le what is the path? Look at the path and the pattern I've been talking about. If you go beyond the meth, it was a whole violent world of mafia, loan sharking, and, you know, fucking politics and religious. See, that's what, this is what, 3D crap is, but that, but I was always the rebel because I was the one that didn't want to believe nothing, even in Catholic school, Catholic school, I was in the nine years of Catholic school, I changed the hair law because I said, fuck that, can't grow hair beyond your collar, I said, no, we're growing hair, motherfucker, I had long hair in Catholic school in eighth grade, I changed that rule, I'm sure it changed, but... Uh, I didn't want to go with the system because the system didn't make sense to me. But I realized now what I had, why I had to go through all that. I, you see it all until this point. You, you, your whole years is just flashback. Once you, once you understand symbolism, once you can, you know, actually see it, like wow. But it was meth that dissolved the boundaries. Of the 3D matrix. That's when I realized. 
I bet. And then when I, when I backtracked and to start reading back songs and poems and realized that that was the great spirit speaking to me, speaking back to me, something that science can't even find. How is this possible? Is it, doesn't that break the laws on this fucking nonsense? Right? Think about it. What happened? Where, what, what is the problem? No, no, I'm looked upon as crazy. The crazy guy who was talking to a bush. What actually brought me to the psych ward? What, the, the moment I was out pruning this burning bush, I was cutting it down. That's that moment I realized that Everything is the mind. Everything is connected. There was all these branches coming out of my head to different sounds across the street, to the birds up in the sky, to the grass, to the ant crawling in the grass, wrestling the grass, to the squirrels digging two blocks down. I heard it all. And each branch I cut, the great spirit spoke back and said, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for giving me this life. Thank you for letting the light shine in the darkness. The bottom of the bush. And I cut the bush down because it was overgrowing the house. And to me, it looks like a pig lived there. Now, I'm in an all Jewish community, mind you, in a place called Beechwood. <laughs> Right? That's a, that's a Jewish community. And I lost my key to my truck. I lost my key. I, and all the next thing I know, I was being put in an ambulance. Okay, so I'm tripping balls on meth. Beyond the, the, the boundaries of the third and fourth dimension, in unknown worlds that I really f realize existed through the mind, and realize that this is all mine. This is crap that I got to get rid of and, and rebuild, just as I did getting off mess, going to the Illuminati for help at the bottom of the fucking pyramid to work my way back up to the top of the fucking pyramid through Reiki and through witchcraft and ceremonial magic and fucking occultism and fucking shamanic, the shamanic path is what led me here to this day. Now, when I go two years down the road, I'm going to go back and see where the fuck now how do we change this? Where can I change from here instead of going, it's going to go back up. <laughs> we're back up. We're right on track where we're supposed to be. Now it's finding everybody. Okay, now where are we all at? This society is here in Cleveland. There's five core members. I'm only looking for the fourth four other members once we establish that little community we'll be right here in the heart of Cleveland where it's all going to begin the true north by the lake where this all begins this five will, will create a community of change of drastic change of of, of a consciousness shift that is unimaginable. That everyone will just... It's sort of like a workshop community. In the mornings, we'll get together to plan the day, right? Plan things out. We'll get together. We'll, we'll sit. We'll get the energy flowing. You know, we'll do a little dance. We'll do a little rattle, a little, a little drumming. I don't have it here. My little, a little drumming, 
uh, tambourine, any kind of music, sing, dance, poetry, theater, videos, <laughs> right? We start that off. After that, we go some tea, we chill out, have a discussion. This discussion is not a only this is not just some ordinary discussion. It's a discussion how we're all, uh, how we all can release our tense, our uh, anger for life or whatever. We all need something from somebody. This is how we cleanse. After this cleanse discussion, we'll talk about whatever, whatever's bothering us or how we can move forward, what something came, whatever's coming up to the surface. Mostly it's about how to move forward, how to get our messages out there, how to, how to uh, attract our, uh, our soul, <laughs> our, our, our galaxy, or our, how to, how to how to attract our uh, soul tribe, as you will, basically. And we'll start traveling throughout the city, throughout the state, throughout other states, throughout the country. Who knows what's going to happen. But, after our discussion, we'll offer Reiki, we'll offer journeying, uh, some sort of... Uh, like a uh, to to you know release the energies that need to be released so we can take in what we have just learned through discussion because by getting to discussion you got to go through the, the dance and the sing and the poem and, and all of this to get to the discussion because that this because all this was opening the channels to all those different branches coming out of our minds, every thought. And that will be uh, like a like a calming. End it with a little Reiki, little, maybe a little soul journaling, right? Uh, whatever, whatever. I don't know. There's only, four, <laughs> there's only one here right now. You know, for five minds together. And, uh, who knows what's going to happen. But this is the future. It was what I see right now. Now these things change. Drastically. I've been thinking about this since yesterday. I meant to do a whole series of videos. But I got called in to do some um, stuff. To make a few bucks. So I had to go do that. So it's how you've been working. <laughs> so I'm just sitting around waiting for the grass to magically grow. Poof! <laughs> but this is just simple way to really look at that, right? Really, so, the, so in conclusion of all this, where I've just told you two different things, I just probably fucked you everyone up. But, uh... But in conclusion of all this, uh... I guess the uh, the whole idea is just to reflect these moments, and this is just a moment. You know, you just start to, well, how did I get here? What, 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 what led me to watch this video? What? Okay, so what led me from the, that point to there? You know, like video or someone said something about something on a video, and then some person, whatever, here, you know, you're going backwards into time, you're time traveling back to different timelines in the past to figure out what has happened, but so why don't I keep getting here, how do I keep ending up here, but if you notice the climb, you know, just like an ascension, right, right, expansion of consciousness, Expanding the mind. <laughs> We're all communicating by the mind anyway right now. We don't even realize it, but uh, we are. Or else you wouldn't be watching. Or you wouldn't be talking in this you know, recording or whatever, right? Salute. Okay. Well, that was a little bit of history of probably... I don't know how many times I've ever said that. I don't even know. But I never really, uh, you know, uh, 
categorized it or, you know, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> categorized, right? Yeah, incremented it. Incremented. Incremented. Never told you how it increments went. Maybe I did. Maybe I don't fucking remember. Maybe I did, but now I'm doing it better because it's coming back to the surface and obviously uh, it's changing. It's changing perception or it's just, you know, you're getting rid of it. That's, and the only way to get rid of it is to change the perception. Like the wipers, like you're wiping the windows. You're just changing your view. Like, wow. Whoa, dude. <laughs> you know, and when you really look about it, look about it, like, what the fuck kind of talk is that? When you really think about it, <laughs> if you really observe, go go to an outing, you know, go to a family outing, just observe without any kind of judgment. And you can actually hear people when they speak, you can actually hear lower self and higher self. And you can really, then you can, because you can see it because you know who these people are. You're like, wow. I mean, actually observe people. It's amazing how it's just how they talk, but you can hear that higher self, and you want to say, "Well, that's listen to that, listen to your fucking body." You want to listen to your body. You're telling yourself, "Don't you hear? Don't you hear?" Oh, I should not know my body. Shit, my body feel for it the next day. Why the fuck are you doing it? Listen to your higher. Listen. <laughs> It's right. You're telling yourself, you. That's what you want to do to people, right? Like, don't you fucking hear what you're saying? Listen, listen to yourself. I always say, <coughs> and that's the thing. Like, people don't want to listen to themselves. I that you notice that. Like, people don't want to listen to themselves. It's scary. Like, ever since I started to observe, like after when I finally got sober, right? When I find well, it's, but if you sober, when I finally got sober, but you're gonna say, but D, you smoke cannabis. Well, I, I, I first of all, I don't smoke it. I, I, I vaporize it, eat it, and uh, oil it, and all that. But listen, this is through a, uh, this is for medicinal use. Because I'm an actual patient. So, but look, this this type of magic using herbs goes way back to, I just read it out of the, out of the, uh, the hermetic, the hermetic pharm pharmacology, right, it's herbs, it's an herb, this is okay, herbs are okay, you can grow herbs, for Christ's sake, but ever since I started to, uh, uh, I don't even know, I, I lost train of thought, <laughs> but look, Anyway, that's how it is. So, I don't even know what I was saying for that moment, but, uh... Yeah, people don't want to listen. When, when I finally... Yeah, this is what it was about observing. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, when you really observe yourself, that's that's what I started to do. When I started to get off the meth and the, the, all the pain pills and the other fucking neurotic pills that they have you all these other crap that they have you on i was finally clear minded like wow you know i could and then when i started to you incorporate uh, ceremonial ceremonial magic with medicinal uh cannabis that has changed the whole perception of the whole medicare medical system you know so so I was able to, you're able to observe your own thoughts. This is how you can clearly see, you know, you can observe. Because as you observe people talking, you hear that. You can even hear your own higher self. Just very simple. It's not talking about... It's not complaining. It's, it's going, your body is telling you. When you say your body is telling you something, then you should listen to it. Nobody does. We can't. It's where we chose to live in a society that tells you otherwise. It's just it's, it's just the way it is. Not that there's nothing wrong with living in, in this society, but it's when we believe that these are the only rules in this society because we want to be able to have nowhere else to go and think 
you know, all these other things, why they have secret societies. Not necessarily secret, but, you know, they want to believe that it's secret because it's some sort of, ooh, you know, spooky secret stuff, ooh, you know, <laughs> like, the, <laughs> like, I'm sure there are people that investigate, you know, well, there are, you know, there are people wandering around believing that shit, it's what they do, it happens, so, yeah, that's what we, that's where we live, and <laughs> that's what it is, right, all right. That's enough chit chatting for now. I just wanted to get that out there, to to actually see what's building the uh, what this some sort some sort of society community. But uh, I don't even know. I, I can't even fathom of how uh, how it's going to come together or how. You know, or how it's going to be built, how is it going to be fun, all these things, who's funding it, all this stuff. I, I can't, you can't think about that. That is the distraction of that. You just, I just know that this is out there. It's, it exists. And after from seeing the audience speaking and all that, I don't know if I told them that, that now, now it makes sense to me for what that really is. It's now more pieces are falling into this image. And saying, hey, this is the future. <laughs> join us. <laughs> you can join us. Or you can stay down there and complain about theories and politics and you know, economy and uh, currency and all this other bullshit. This other 3D shit that's, that we're trying to keep you down here. Find out what LeBron's doing this summer, right? All this shit, dude. Like, just bad. It's fucking bad. I don't even know why people do that. Well, they, well I'll tell you why. It's because they made it that way. Back then, it was easier to control. Because now they have to do it. They have to glamorize it to get the eyes of the youth, you know? So, oh, wow, dude. You know, I'm going to fucking leave, you know, eighth grade and go be a fucking pro athlete. So now they got these egos walking around. Anyway, whatever. That's not my concern. And again, I've just I just uh, showed you an example how you get caught up in third dimension is by doing what I just did, and that's how that's how I set examples. That's how I gotta do it. Like, and then having to say, oh, I just caught myself saying I was in third dimension. And I'm telling you guys about it. You know, the, these are type of ways that are gonna uh, when people hear you talk like that. I said, oh wait, I just caught myself. That was a third dimensional thought. Now I'm in fifth dimension because I don't really live there. <laughs> you know, that's not for the righteousness of me. <laughs> you know, you dig? That's not righteous, you know? So, yo, know, like, uh, that's how it rolls, you know? It, 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 it's, a, it's a direct experience. And that's another video we're going to do. We're going to talk about getting into, like, all that, you know, all these people certifying and all this it's just ridiculous uh no, no one certified the very first witch <laughs> you know the witch is certified it's themselves through self-direct initiation with uh the other side the same way i did with the fucking meth <laughs> i just dissolve the boundaries see because i was a chronic uh cannabis smoker for since i, was, since I broke my back in 1990 95, 90, 1990, 1990, I broke my back, and I started using cannabis, I was like, yes, well, when you're that young, doing all that, you know, things got really out of hand, and really out of control, so, uh, but I don't fully blame the plant, I fully blame me, me, I did that, that I created all that, I wanted that lifestyle, and I was living it. And I didn't want to live like that. So that's the same. So so the cannabis uh, consumption I had was so chronic that my boundaries were already dissolved. You know, I was in more of a comfort zone of just of my belief as in like run the mafia life. You see evil everywhere, bad shit. Yeah, people, you because you're all linked. Yeah, we're going to do this. You motherfucker owes you money. Oh, we have to go collect it. Oh, okay. You and your this is your own place, your own world that I've constructed. But I'm still looking for the glamorous place. The big house, the, all the cars, 
wads of cash under the with here and under the sea, all this fun stuff that don't exist. That's third dimension, you see, like so uh and the coke wasn't really for Trump for some reason it was the math that got that last boundary that I need to get rid of to realize but it wasn't the math it was the symbols the symbols is what led me here it had nothing to do with any of that the math the math maybe maybe because the symbols so that means the symbol has power over me not power but it had a awakening a, a deep embedded coding the symbols within but the meth uh, sort of uh, fueled it sort of you know made it boom like whoa am I imagining this you know the, the, the meth crashed that last wall down but my perception was already changed due to the symbols because the great spirit knew I was going within now. Go, so I went within and did that whole thing. And here we are. Alright. Well, as always, I love you guys so much. Thank you for reaching out. Uh, Crazy, crazy. We all love it. We all love it. Love it. Alright, anyway. It was nice meeting the other one of you guys the other day. I don't even I don't remember. I ran into you on the street. It was really pretty uh, pretty crazy to see somebody on the street who actually watches you. I was like, whoa, <laughs> it tripped me out. But anyway, you know who you are. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Be fucking unique. Be inspirational and go follow the unicorn because it's magic.